Howdy folks, Sean here from Hiking with Sean on YouTube, and today I am showcasing the Stone Fort Trail here at Giant City State Park. This is a short trail with some pretty good hill climbing. It's considered rugged. It's about a third of a mile, and it contains a prehistoric stone wall that hasn't been rebuilt by the CCC and is thought to have been built by the uh, late woodland, woodland period. So I hope you enjoy this video. Plenty of bluffs on this hike. And over here is a nice creek. That is a really cool cascade of waterfalls during heavier rains. But it does get slick, so please be safe. Here's the creek. And like I said, during rain, heavier rain days, it's just gushing with water. But it's very rain dependent. And right out there's the parking lot. You could see it from the road. And all sorts of cool bluffage to explore. Just be careful around the spring and summer months when copperhead snakes are out. Aside from the trail being so obvious, when you make your way up to the top, you'll be greeted with a sign that tells you to turn right. And as you could tell, it's pretty obvious that you go right without the help of that sign. Now would be the time to pause and read all this. You can always go back. And there's the stone fort. Now, as mentioned on the sign, it has been reconstructed. So there's no reason to come out here and try to dig around and look for stuff because vandals over the years have already done that. So the ones who built this park reconstructed it the way they feel like it was meant to look. The real question here is, what did Native Americans use stone walls for? Everyone has theories, no one really, no one really knows for sure. These were early Native Americans. These were uh, before white man came around. Stone Fort Trail does come with a cool overlook where you can overlook Stone Fort Road. Um, do be careful during wintry and wet conditions as this stone overlook can become very slippery. And you're high enough up that 
you will likely not survive a fall. And if you do survive it, you will wish you hadn't. Lots of cool bluffage here. Really a fun place. Short hike. Um, it's a climb up, so it's kind of a gut buster. <laughs> Get your heart going pretty good. It's really good exercise for such a short hike. And uh, really pretty. Um, if you can see it right down here is some picnic tables and a grill and I do believe there's even more more over that way picnic tables and grills so it's a good place for a picnic there's a large field um, no parking in the field no cars in the field but that field could be used for playing bags or um, frisbee or you know sporting stuff like that that's really um, light treading on the environment and then across the road here there's little places you could park more picnic tables and grills trees you can hang a hammock on a lovely creek over there that when it fills up for, full of water it's really scenic but it's really a fun trail and if you've never been I definitely recommend checking it out it's short but sweet so after you're done on the overlook you can take the low trail trail which edges the overlook or you could take the high trail you can't hardly see the high trail because it's covered in leaves but once you are here you can make it out pretty good everyone takes the low trail because it's prettier that's what I'm gonna take but in case you're kind of freaked out by heights there's an upper trail that well makes it okay to take again try to be safe when uh, conditions are wet or it's winter as this rock will become super slick and you don't want to accidentally fall off that would not be good Once you get to the crack in the trail, do be careful when you cross it because you really don't want to fall. You can go this way for a shorter hike, but you'll have to go down the bluff a little bit to get back on the trail to go down. It's more rugged that way. You can go straight up it'll take you back to the wall the stone fort and as you can see we're back at the arrow and 
and back on the trail we went up. You can even see my truck out there in the parking lot. As a bonus, when you see those bluffs and the creek is dry and passable, take you a little stroll across the creek. Be careful because there's still wet spots most of the time and those spots are very slick. And then you can come over here and explore a little bit of cool bluffage on this little user-made trail that is popular. It's really cool over here. Got little caves, shelter caves, not caves that really go too far deep in there. Cool uh, formations. You can almost see faces. Just cool, cool ways water and erosion has left the bluffage for us. Very cool. Nature is neat, folks. And then there's this big cave, cave shelter. It's not really a true cave, but it is kind of a little shelter. And it's cool looking. It's very cool looking. Dark. It pretty much fizzles out the user made trail on the other side of the bluffage here. And then it becomes uh, pretty hard to edge the bluff. And that was Stonefort Trail. Parking lot is big enough to fit quite a few cars. Got restrooms, trash services. Please throw away your litter. It's also a picnic table and a grill. This area is restricted to hunting year-round. And we also have an invasive species control area. You uh, wipe your boots off on under your shoes. That's not for cleaning your shoes, by the way. That's for getting potential invasive species off. I only use certain shoes for hiking around here locally. Um, and I know what gets on them, so I don't use them that much. But uh, I do at times, and they're good to use because invasives, they just, they spread really fast. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please click that like button, share this video with others, comment down below, and uh, definitely give me a share on social media. If you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please subscribe today, it's free. It really helps me uh, feel motivated to keep making these videos. Thanks again for watching another episode of Hiking with Sean. Until next time, I'll see you on the trail.